Hey guys, today I'm going over the Autel Max Diag MD-808 and MD-808 Pro. So we're going over a professional scan tool. This does ABS and SRS airbags, steering angle resets on BMWs and stuff. So it's a little more than just your standard pocket scanner. And it's a little more in price compared to, you know, a pocket scanner, but it's not a pocket scanner. This is actually going to get you through to some, you know, diagnosis and figure out what's wrong with your car. We're using it today. I already uh, checked the check engine light out on a 2010 Terrain. We're going to be clearing it. I'm going to be going over the overview with this just to uh, show you kind of, you know, how we can do it. But a couple things it does is it can do the electronic parking brake uh, service resets. Basically, for Audi and a couple other companies, you know, electronic parking brake is coming up on newer cars. You're able to put that in service mode so that they retract and you don't damage the rear calipers. Also, it has uh, performance for diesel particulate filters, forced regeneration on like, you know, Ford and Duramaxes and stuff. You can put it into a regen mode. Uh, and then also battery registration resets. Some newer cars, you have to reset the fact that you put a new battery in it. So it learns. I'm not exactly sure of the protocols with that, but it does, can do that. A couple hybrid features and stuff. And of course it checks any races, uh, Checks and erases DTCs, diagnostic trouble codes, and can also look at live data to help you diagnose the issue. So we're gonna open it up right now. Comes in a nice hard case. You're not seeing that too much anymore. A lot of companies are using soft cases, so I like that right away. A couple flip clips. Comes with the service manual. Basically the instruction manual and standard hooking to it. So we got this one, and this is the Max Diag MD-808. So we don't have the Pro version, but we do have the MD-808. Uh, so, it has the USB connection for updates. It feels very lightweight. I'm actually kind of surprised. Very lightweight and comes with the diagnostic cord. So, what can we do besides hook up to a vehicle and see what we got going on with it? Cable certainly just is a quick, easy connect as these always are. Just computers, serial cables, they screw in so it can't just come unplugged. Has a nice little screen protector on it. I like to keep those on. That way if you ever do scrape it up, you can just peel it off. So let's go hook it to the car, see what we got going on. Okay, and for the scan tool, you're going to find your di diagnostic port, which is usually under the driver's side dash. Somewhere near the left or right on this one vehicle, it's right here. And you can see the scan tool is powering up. So now we're going to uh, get in the car and show you kind of the service, what's going on. Okay, so we're going to connect to the vehicle. This one is a 2011 Terrain. Uh, the thing I already like about this is it's using, um, it seems like factory software, it, you know, stuff going on. So this is just like using a Tech 2, which is GM's uh, standard software. Going to GMC truck, we need to find the fifth digit of the VIN. I know that, but it gives you a little help section right here. If you don't know what it's asking for, it tells you right there. Uh, select the fifth digit of the VIN. And on this vehicle, it's going to be an L. Pops up terrain right there for you. That's the same way the GM scan tool would do it. Ask which engine, 244 cylinder or 3 liter V6. We have the V6. Control unit, gives me access to the ECM, the TCM, transmission control module. Supplement restraint, which is airbags and electronic brake controller. So we're gonna go to engine control module. We have a check engine light. We wanna see what's going on with it. Click easy, okay. We're looking for the DTC, diagnostic trouble code. Please wait, it takes a couple seconds, establishing communications. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so we have the P0496 code, gives me the description, EGR system flow during non-purge. Um, and that's what we're actually fixing on this vehicle today. So I know, right away, I know that's there. It's a current DTC, you can clear it, save it. We're gonna get out of that right now. You can go to data display. And this gives you access to a, a certain information that my full-fledged scan tool would go to. So it gives me engine data, auto transmission data, CMP actuator data, which is your variable valve timing, cooling HVAC data, cruise, traction, 
electrical or theft data. Basically, if your theft flight's flashing, you can tell you why. EVAB data, exhaust after treatment data for diesels, fuel system data, fuel trim data, O2 sensors, ignition, induction, you know, instrument instrument panel cluster, misfire data. I mean, even the misfire data for, you know, quote unquote a pocket scan tool this thing has professional standards this thing is actually i mean from autel i'm very impressed with it i mean it gives me current misfires if it is if it is misfiring i mean you can, you can even graph it like misfire cylinder three i can watch you know, watch the graph, it's going across the board zero right now, so I can actually, as you're driving, you know, drive it around if it is misfiring on that cylinder, it will graph stuff. So you're not just watching a number go up and down. You can actually see if there is a fluctuation. So, I mean, when you're given, I mean, ignition data, I mean, you can see the uh, crankshaft position sensor, we're gonna graph it. I can watch the crank sensor go along, you know, where you're moving, where it's going up. It's just pretty impressive right there seems like a very fast uh, you know it's not a slow processor I say it's a little slower but um, than a, my full-fledged scan tool but this thing is giving me pretty much all the data that my scan tool would give me um, without being bi-directional control meaning I can you know command things on with the scan tool if you want you know basically so pretty much as a scan tool diagnostic module this thing is great it gives me a bunch of information to look at it's fast enough to where it's actually usable. I mean, you can look up look up airbag stuff. It's a lot of times you get an airbag light comes on. Sometimes just from a battery dying or something, but you know, no trouble codes. Obviously, we got none in this. I'm pretty impressed. You know, especially with GM electronic brake control modules, I do a lot of ABS work with the bearings and stuff and sensors. So to be able to pinpoint, you know, an ABS code quickly, you know, this one's gonna have no codes. But to be able to do that quickly with this, you know, and be able to, you know, data display it, where it can actually watch uh, individual speed sensors. You know, I get left front wheel speed, rear front wheel speed. You can just see, you know, what's happening. Does the module have 12 volts to it? Does, you know, is the pump going off? Has, you know, the traction control system failed? Is the switch state on? Is it active? Is the ABS failed? ABS is active. So if you hit the brakes and it's going off, you know, does the car actually know it's ABSing? You know, it's it's pretty impressive. I actually, I mean, this is way more than I expected out of an Autel, you know, diag scan tool. I really didn't expect as much as this Autel can do. So pretty much, I just want to say for this, definitely worth the money. I've used a couple other scan tools I carry with me just to quick check check engine lights and stuff on the road and do that stuff and. It's like, you know, it's nice to have those, just, you know, I can see if it's a serious issue or not. But to be on the road in my tool bag, like, it takes a little bit for me to switch out what I have. And this thing actually, you know, like I said, gives me as much information as my $2,000 scan tool does um, without being bi-directional control. So, as a scan tool, this is 100% for me. This is what I'm looking for. And at the price point of $250 for the MD-808, that's not outrageous. If you buy this thing off a tool truck, you know, or something similar, this would probably cost you five, six hundred dollars, and if not more, because you're paying the markup on it. And but to have something that truly actually works, that is fantastic. I really like the fact that this is can do what it does. I spent a long time around the high end side of scan tools, you know, Matco, Snap On, just all those guys. And I know those things are usually made by other people but snap-on's varus you know is made by snap-on it's pretty fantastic and that's why i was actually very impressed to see that this gives me almost the same information that one of those does a little slower but it's still pretty fast for being this size for most of these in its class they usually run really slow this is adequate to me i have other scan tools that take longer to load than this it does it pretty quick gives you the information it needs it seems like it's using factory software so they're whether it's, you know, it's interfacing the way the factory scan tools would to give you as much information as you can aftermarket wise. So as far as diagnosing a vehicle, this, I don't even need to bring my scan tool home anymore. This will do it for me. So it's nice to have it in the, you know, in the shop.
I can't you do throttle control or anything with it, but it can give me the information that I need out of it. And that's all that's really matters. So as far as uh, the Altel MD8, MD808 goes, I am highly impressed and I do you know, honestly recommend this one. The only fallbacks I have on it is I know it's a, you know, this size scan tool, but the screen seems a little long. So when you're graphing something, it doesn't go, you know, it doesn't give you a wide spectrum to really view it, but that's all right. You know, I'm not, as long as you can graph it and actually do something with it, that's, that's the point of what it's trying to do. So my fallbacks are, I mean, I like, I like the grip of the case. It's got, you know, in case you drop it, has a nice screen protector on it. The cable seems nice and sturdy. The cable's a little short, and I know they meant to have these compact, but I do like a longer cable. That way, if I want to put it onto the, you know, under the hood as I'm working on it, so to view, view something as the car is running, I like that as I'm looking for a vacuum leak or something. But, you know, you can probably get one of the a longer cable aftermarket wise. So basically my drawbacks on it are screen size and cable wise. Other than that, I think this thing is performing fantastically. So definitely recommend it. I'll have a link in the description to Amazon. This thing can graph, give you factory information, reset service lights on European cars and do parking brake controls, force diesels into regen, uh, if that's something you know, you're trying to do but for service. It's just, it's pretty capable. You look at live misfire data, it's everything really, I mean this will, if you're a technician and you know anything about scan tools, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So to have this kind of level for this price, very worth it. So I hope you guys liked the video, I hope it helped you make a decision on the MD-808 if you like it or not. I feel this is a very, very good scan tool for the money. So I do recommend getting it if you're looking at it. Hope this video helped you guys. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for a lot more videos like this one.